Well, you know, the world has changed. The, the outpouring of bad things, Orlando, San Bernardino, Nice, Paris, have really changed the way people are thinking and the importance they give to increasing survival from active shoot and intentional mass casualty events. It could happen here, it could happen now, or it could happen later. Whereas before, people thought it would never happen where I am. Now, that's not the case. So there's more receptivity to informing the public, educating the public, and training the public so they can be immediately involved in stopping bleeding from these kinds of events. Bleeding control was initially designed for first responders, policemen, firemen, soldiers, people of that nature. However, we have modified it to call it Bleeding Control Basic. And Bleeding Control Basic is for the public. And it does three things. It teaches you how to use your hands to stop bleeding, how to use hemostatic dressings to stop bleeding, and how to use a tourniquet. And it empowers you to use it. Very similar to empower, CPR is used to help people with cardiac arrest. Heimlich Maneuver is help, used to help people with uh, choking and we empower the public to do that. The first thing is to train and empower the leadership of the American College of Surgeons. So we've trained the governors, the regents, the leadership councils, and we've also trained the Committee on Trauma and the Young Fellows Association. So the leadership is aware of this and is engaged in being educated so when they go home, they can take a leadership position with anybody, the school, the church, the club, the hospital, uh, and not only that, but be empowered be, to pick up the phone and talk to the commissioner of their schools, or the head of their church, or the club. And that way, more and more citizens will see this as a reasonable thing to do. That's really informing them, and then educating them so they can use their hands and dressings and tourniquets to stop bleeding. Because Remember, we don't mandate that, but the people want to be helpful. We did a poll and 92% of the public wanted to be helpful in altruistic ways of helping their fellow man and stopping bleeding.